Hey, Magnus here, and today we're going to be talking about this Mcopulus portable slider. Now for a long time, I was looking for a slider. Now I've had this for about a couple of weeks. I haven't really had a chance to test it, but a slider that I was looking for, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen, was the Edelkrone Slider Plus Pro. Now every time I see those commercials come up as I'm digging through YouTube videos, I'm like, I gotta have that. Problem is, it was over 500 bucks, and I wanted something a little bit more affordable because I did want one, but I was not looking for all the bells and whistles because I think I just wanted to start off slow before I progress with my frustrations. But I just found online on Amazon and I'm like, whoa, no way this slider can be this affordable, comparable this to the Slider Plus Pro and be less than 200 bucks. And here we go, the Mcopulus Portable Slider. Now this thing reminded me pretty much of the Edelkrone established uh, Slider Plus Pro and the fact that the width makes it very portable, but you can actually get double the width of the portability because of the way this uh, whole system works and the way it rotates off the center based off of this band. Um, but of course I was skeptical. What was I gonna sacrifice because of the less expensive price tag? And let me tell you a uh, quick rundown. Pretty much the build quality seems to be pretty good. This does not feel plasticky, but it feels, it, feels pretty sturdy. Um, the actual slide, believe it or not, a couple of those shots that I showed earlier on, I had this thing locked out. There's a little wheel that you could spin to actually make it a bit more resistant or a bit more lax. I had it on pretty tight, so my shots were a bit jittery before I realized, loosen it up. Maybe you can get something smoother. But once I did, I was able to quickly slide from left to right, and I thought that the slide with a pretty much frictionless design was pretty good. Now one of the advantages of having one of these sliders is that if you're doing a pull forward, because of this plate moves with you, you can actually have a wider lens and the front of this, the barrel won't get in the way. For example, this goes out about to here. So if it wasn't this type of portion, and I had my lens facing that way, then you'd probably get this in the shot if you had a wider lens. But the way this is designed allows you to use a wider lens and still get that immersion, that more cinematic feel when you're able to pan and move your shots. Great thing about it too is that when I purchased it, it actually came with this carrying case. Now a comparable carrying case I saw was on sale for $50 for, again, the Edelkrone, but this actually came with a unit, so it makes it a lot easier to just pack and go. And as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty small, uh, light, a small lightweight option for the ability to do as I do. And of course, you can set it up, depending on your tripod, make sure you get a very sturdy tripod, um, but depending on your setup, you can really get some creative shots panning from one direction to another. Now, the advantage of the Edelkrone, which I did not see any accessories tied to this one, I may be wrong, and if I'm wrong, please correct me because I would love to see it, is that the Edelkrone, you could attach a, a unit that will allow it to be controlled automatically with a remote control or however you have it set up to follow certain subjects or whatnot. This doesn't have that, you don't have that option, but for the price tag, it didn't concern me too much. I would recommend putting this on a fluid tripod head to get some really real good cinematic shots. I do not have a fluid tripod head that would actually fit into this, but if I did, you better believe that I would uh, be using this a lot more frequently. But for the most part, the way I have it set up right now, it still works for me. It still gets me a couple of cinematic shots that I would need going forward. But again, I can't recommend the fluid tripod head enough on top of this thing to make it a lot more versatile. So all in all, final review is I definitely picked this up. 
especially if you see something on sale Black Friday. This thing is pretty solid, pretty uh, available, nice and smooth. I don't have any friction whatsoever after I loosened it up. And it's a nice, nice buy. Let me know if you're interested. I'll leave a link on the comment section down below. And as always, like, share, and you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and I'm out. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. And careful on Black Friday. See you later.